It has been a week now since we learned a six-year-old Philadelphia boy died after he was allegedly starved and beaten by his own parents. The couple has been charged with murder. NBC 10's Luen Khan has been asking questions about why Khalil Wimes was returned to parents who had a long history of neglecting and abusing children. Tonight, Luann has new details. For the first three years of his life, Khalil Wimes was in the care of relatives. That family asked me to try to find out why they lost their battle to keep him, why the system didn't prevent his terrible death. Some of the answers we got are unexpected. This is my worst name here. Alicia Nixon and her mother are convinced no one with any sense did enough to save the child they loved. So they are all to blame. He slept on a urine soaked mattress. <laughs> Their relatives of Tina and Floyd Wimes asked by the couple's family six years ago to help out and care for newborn Khalil. Police say DHS had already removed five other children from the Wimes because of drug addiction, neglect, and abuse. When Khalil was almost a year old, a court judge ordered the Nixons to return Khalil to the Wimes. Four days later, the Nixons say the toddler was hospitalized, dehydrated, and dirty, and say DHS returned Khalil to them urging them to become permanent caregivers. DHS said, Ms. Nixon, in order to prevent this from happening again, we need you to become a foster parent so that we can move forward with the process of adoption. The Nixon's home video and pictures are evidence Khalil was thriving and doing well. Yet at age three, a family court judge forced the Nixons to return Khalil to the Wimes. We cared for him. We nurtured him. We loved him. We loved him him and these strangers get to make decisions last week the nixons and extended family who were not allowed to see khalil for three years were given the right to bury the boy what we know about addicts is they hide and they lie so we have to know that these two people with a history of addiction were probably going to hide and lie again then why give these children this child back it's always the hard question we brought Khalil's records, the Nixon's account, timeline, and information we've gathered to one of the leading child advocates in the country, Frank Cervone. This is an email from Khalil's DHS caseworker, Jessica Campbell, right after the judge ruled Khalil should go back to the Wimes. It says, I told him in no uncertain terms that we don't believe it's in Khalil's best interest to be reunified with his birth parents for many reasons. In another email, the caseworker encouraged the Nixons to write letters to the mayor, anyone, saying irreparable damage is done to our families and our children. It's really unfair. People need to stop hiding behind the letter of the law and start owning up to the moral decisions they're or immoral decisions that they're making. Now, I'm not seeing anywhere that the system really blew it. Cervone has questions about the court that returned Khalil to the Wimes at age one, but it appears when he was three, the Wimes met goals, drug rehab, employment, new housing. If deemed fit parents, he says their rights would come before the child's. Doesn't look like the caseworker spoke against the parents. The caseworker appears to have spoken in favor of the bond with the new family. Cervone says the biggest failure was that the system found no way to keep this child connected to blood relatives who could have monitored his well-being. Even neighbors of the Wyme said they'd never seen the child. I think the neglect caused his death, that's clear. But the isolation allowed him to die. The Nixons say they'll fight for changes to make sure this doesn't happen to another child. I was hoping when he was old enough he would find us. And I didn't ever want the last time I saw him to be, to bury him. Cervone says recently DHS has adopted a program to help prevent isolation of children reunited with birth parents. DHS says it will review this case. The mayor promised to make that report public. Luann Khan, NBC 10 News.